Hello, people. I am in Bermuda right now. Yeah, so I'm in Bermuda. I'm actually doing a vlog of it on my phone when I'm out doing things. But I just saw episode 2 of Boruto, and I felt I would give you a quick mini review. And I will still live react to One Piece tomorrow. I'll probably get up early, and I'll do a live reaction as a review before I go out for the day. I have a lot of free time. It's all scheduled stuff in Bermuda, so yeah. Everything's gonna be normal. But on with the review. <coughs> so in this week's episode of Boruto, that is Boruto episode 2, returning to the academy after a two week suspension, and we get to see a lot of characterization for Enojin with Enojin has spent a long, way too much time with Sai. He's very much like Sai. He doesn't understand social situations at all. He, he does not understand social situations. He said some things to Boruto, where I was just like, you, you piece of shit. Like, you don't say things like that to people. Like, like the best looking character, compare, I would say some of the things he said to Boruto, well, they weren't as mean, they were a lot ruder than some of the things Sakura used to say in Naruto. If you want a comparison, like you know, Jin was very rude. He clearly, like, he was clearly trying to be polite, which is what really separates him from Sai. Like when Sai met Naruto and Sakura, he openly talked. He was like, "Oh, at least I, at least I'm not a tra an absolute traitor dirtbag like your former teammate." Mm -hmm. And yet, like, no. He said, smiling, knowing you would piss Naruto and Sakura off. But Inojin, on the other hand, you can tell he's trying. So unlike his father, who pissed off his teammates on purpose, Inojin is very much trying his absolute best not to piss them off. Then we get introduced to Iwabe. Now, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm iffy on Iwabe because I think his character arc in and of itself is. Stupid and shit. I really do. I'm sorry. But the fact that it's like, it took you to, if you're going to the academy to become a ninja, and you have all the skills necessary, and you are this skill, you should be able to graduate. Like, whether or not you pass the other courses should not matter. You are clearly skilled enough to be a ninja. I could, like, Iwabe is clearly skilled enough to be a things he was doing in this chapter. These were things. Hell, I don't think we've ever even seen Sakura performance in the two Jinjitsu. You know, yeah, Sakura had never, Sakura had never performed the sub Sakura know what we did in the fourth of death. But it took, like, it took Sakura and, I mean, the fourth of death to learn that Jitsu. I, I'm proud to say Naruto never learned it. Like, the kid can do things Joe, like, 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 people that were getting couldn't do until late into, into their getting career. Or possibly in some of them when the only they became tuny. How many skills or things of the previous generation were doing when they were tuny? I mean, what the fuck? Why is this guy not graduated? It's bullshit. Like, I agree, I, I agree with him to an extent that I feel this generation is very soft. Like, even though the, the generation before them grew up in a kind of, like, technically peace time, like, there was no war. There was definitely still more imbalance, and the chance of war was very high. So ninja were being trained. It was very much no, you can do, you can do a mission. So okay, you're going on missions. Like it was very much more serious. The academy was to train ninjas. Like I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of this whole the academy trains other people. I don't like it. I don't. Also, they I think he explained Chakra in this episode. Um, I don't think that explanation is right. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I went back and I watched, like, episode, like, five or six, in, uh, where Sakura, in both English and Japanese, and I listened to her explanation. Her explanation of what Sakura is, is completely different from what Denki said. Like, the only thing that Sakura and Denki say that lines up is that it is the, it is the main, it is, like, the first step to learning ninjutsu. 
I mean, Sakura is explanation. If you want to have a better understanding of Chakra, go watch Sakura's explanation. It's a lot better than Denki's. Denki kind of just pulls things out of his asshole. Like, he really does. But again, the fight is really good. There's this one thing where Boruto does the same combo Sasuke did on Kakashi during your first bell test. And when I. And, and, uh, not, and uh, Iwabi blocked it the same way Kakashi blocked it. And I was like, yeah! Yeah! I had a full on fanboy attack at that. I was just like, oh my god, that is so. I paused it and I jumped out of my seat. I didn't do a lot of reaction to see that I don't have my equipment with me, and I honestly didn't feel like recording a live reaction without the good equipment. But I jumped out of my seat like, what the fuck? Like, uh, that is so damn cool. Whenever there's a Naruto reference in Boruto, I echo, I get it. I get it. Also, the ending. I didn't watch my ending last week, so I'll talk about it. My favorite shot of the ending is the scene where they're all running, and you see all the faces. I also really like the, the nice touch of it starting with Naruto and Hang and uh, Naruto and his family, and then Ang with Sake and Sakura. I really like that. Like, it's a nice little touch because you know they're the main Naruto with the main character, like the main main character, and Sake and Sakura like the secondary main characters. So it's kind of it's a it's, it was a really nice little shot at the end. I really also the art on the drawings was like something. I I almost thought I almost thought to myself that Kichi Moto draw that for the anime. Yeah, that looks like something Kichi would draw. That looks very Kichi. But uh, yeah, there's not much to say about the episode. The biggest problem with it, I feel, is something that I'm gonna have a problem with a lot of these episodes. Is that honestly, if they're not going to have the, I was interested in this arc because I wanted to see what the academy was like. Not what their life was like. I knew all this kind of shit went down. I figured it out. It's, it's like it's like it's like kind of when you're watching Harry Potter. Like you know, the students are going to fight using your magic. Like you know that's going to happen. It's like that's not surprising. It's the same thing here. It's like it's not a big surprise that both are end up fighting somebody in the academy. I was more so interested in just to what kind of thing getting I mean, academy students learn. Like, do they, how they learn it? Like, are they divided up into teams? Are they taught individually, one-on-one? -on -one? Like, she you know, help Boruto, then he helps Serana, me, and he helps Miki. How did all that work? And we're getting more so a very different vibe from the old Academy, and I'm kind of disappointed from that. And honestly, if we're going to be getting, if it's going if we're doing a regular school anime with ninja, with, with Naruto elements and ninjas and stuff, so... Honestly, if it's going to be like that, I want to get out of the academy. And we're going to delve into how these kids learn ninjutsu and all this shit. Then, power to you. Power to you, Boruto. You do that, power to you. But if you're not going to do that, then just skip it and make him a ninja. Like, I'd much rather be watching him go on missions and stuff. Because honestly, he's in no danger. Like, there's no sense of danger when he's in the goddamn academy. Even if we didn't know he was going to graduate and become a there would still be no sense of danger. He's in the village, in the academy, surrounded by Chunin and Jonin. And Naruto is, is sitting above him. You do realize the academy is located, like, in Hokage Tower, and, like, right next to the Hokage Tower. Right, like, Naruto could be there in second. Is that it? any fans yet go down? Naruto can just show up and solve everything. And, and don't forget, and don't forget how many powerful pa characters have children in this school. Something goes down, what are we gonna have to up? He's not gonna show up. Sakura and Sasuke will show up, and they can all kick the guy's ass together. I mean, there's, there's no sense of danger. Like, get them out of the village to a place where these adults can't. Get them, get them on the getting team, and get them out of the village. This way, you can, then you can easily write a situation too busy to help them, and they have to defend themselves against like a Joni or a Chuni. You can easily write that, but you can't easily write that right now. And there's no sense of danger. It reminded me. If I had to rate the episode, although the animation quality went down, it looks like it goes up again next week. I'm not sure what that was about. It was weird. Not Dragon Ball Super Bad, but I mean, still really good. 
but you could definitely get an animation. So if I had to rate the episode, I would give it 3.5 out of 5. I think it's a pretty fair rating. rating. Nothing spectacular, nothing great. Just kind of worry this thing is going to go for a while. I hope Boruto becomes a ninja soon because this is a big. I, don't, I wouldn't want to watch this for much longer. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe for more videos. One Piece live reaction and review tomorrow. Hopefully early in the morning, if not late at night. But yeah, bye bye guys. Have a great day. This is One Piece Nation. Signing out. Bird